Hey guys, Dubai is hot, hot. I'm meeting the Max, so let's check out what's going on up here at Dubai Mall. I really la like investing on prepping the skin, really? lips and eyes because that's the secret for a greater skin, I would say. So which celebrities have you done makeup for? Okay, the last one I remember was Stella McCartney. Wow. She's a designer, yes, but she's, yes. my, she's like my idol because yes. I always wear her, I have like a few bags from her wow. and I was so happy that uh, you got a chance to, got the chance to do her makeup. Also, when working backstage at Fashion Week, we yeah. do a lot of international uh, models. models. We see them. One time I did Gigi Hadid. I was actually grooming her brows. But that time, no one knew her. Okay. But then, after like a year, I was going through the pictures. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> How do you test the color? So usually what we have at MAC is the NC and an NW. NC stands for the cooler undertone and NW is more of the warmer undertone. Sometimes if you feel that you're not sure which one goes with your skin, try NC on one side and try NW on the other side. The color that you feel it turns a little bit ashy, that's not the right color. Yep. Do you see what I, yeah. So you're more into an NC. So this is where sometimes I know that concealer is a little bit challenging. Yeah. But the best way is two undertones and everywhere you have two undertones. You have the cool and the warm. Apply one cool and one warm. The one you feel goes with your skin, then that's the right one. And always under your eye is better? Um, yeah, I'm testing, yeah, here, yeah, definitely. Okay. So you're using the highlight now? Yes, the yellow because it really brightens up and lifts okay. the eye. So just lightly, it, you cannot feel it belongs to the skin. Yeah. Not over. Yeah. And then I'm gonna use these caramel shades to lightly sculpt. So you're on the cheekbone? Yes. Has the trend of contouring contouring gone? I'll tell you something. It's always it's always been there. And it'll since, always be there. Since like I remember when we do special effect makeup or theater makeup, yes. we used to do the strong makeup so the public can see. Yes. But at the, but that time there was no social media. Yes. So we've always con highlighted and contoured, but I think what you see on Instagram and in reality, it's different because when you you need to highly contour to the extreme, so on the camera it shows natural, yeah. but in reality you look like a drag queen basically. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. So I would say for day for daily highlight and contour, it's like how you're putting your bronzer. Okay. We do the same thing. You always sculpt. Yeah. And then you if you wanna add your highlight. You don't want to go too extreme with your highlight. Just go with a matte highlighter and then you're gone. You're, you're done. Yeah. So it's simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Let's say, this is my mantra. Keep it simple. Less is more. Yeah, less is more. And what are the mistakes that you see women make? Uh, not priming their skin before applying concealer, foundation, and lipstick. And then you wouldn't really see results if you are not priming your skin. 
I don't mean with a primer. What I mean with the priming the skin is adding a moisturizer. Because everything starts with a good skin. Absolutely, yeah. Circles. Caramel. Caramel or an orangey brown. Really just to blend under the lower lash line. And then you can add uh, maybe a eye, eyeshadow or alcohol. Yeah. It, it, it takes away the attention of the dark, dark circles. circles. Okay, so I'd asked Miriam to do me a Middle Eastern eye, and she said she's going to do a modern one. And you can see it's actually taking shape. But give me the tips. So when, whenever you want to create that Middle Eastern shape, usually it's super sharp, but if you feel it was super sharp, just take a loose powder and then maybe just blend the edges. And with the brush, you do this technique where, you know, like you blend. you're actually diffusing the line. Okay. Yeah. So but this you is still got that elongated eyes. Sort of shape. It's really fun. And also we've used brown. So instead of using black, always go for the brown because brown most of the times looks less harsh, I would say. Mm -hmm. And no matter how much it smudges, it still look more, I would say, clean yes. than the black the when black it's too when smudgy. It smudges. Yeah. So whenever you are wearing fake lashes, it doesn't really matter what mascara you use. Okay. But I would suggest you wear, you use a thin brush so it doesn't really disturb the fake lashes. Okay. Because you only need to actually combine the fake lash with the real lash. That's okay. it. Yeah. What I'm going to do is do this. So combining the original ones, the natural lashes with the fake ones without disturbing the shape so what's a good lipstick when you have eyes I would say when wow. you go for dramatic let's go for a nude lipstick we have Meher uh, Velvet Teddy that these are the best two sh selling shades in the Middle East oh. that everybody would wear okay yeah so um, let's do Meher on you yeah I was yeah. gonna say Meher look at the eyes just simple things that she did that made such a difference in for my eyes look and you know it's that Arabic eye that I wanted it's really cool yeah. so Miriam telling me it's about the shape of the eye and following the eye line right yes it's you know that when you wanna with any eye shape you wanna your your target is to make it an almond shape okay. so this is where the it's important for the makeup artist to understand the eye shape and how to really tailor the makeup uh, on uh, the customers you know facial shape the eye shape and also the lip shape as well that's very important that's so cool it, it looks so natural it Thank doesn't you. look like you know excessive makeup so this is where this if is you're gonna light. put light there you go. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mariam. You're welcome. Yay! Face <laughs> beat by Miriam. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media.